Hey guys, Don Monty here bringing you some more World of Tanks action today. Um, I just wanted to kind of have a talk about um, some of the tanks that you can actually get in World of Tanks. And um, a lot of people kind of ignore um, the initial tanks you start with, which is the Tier 1 tanks. Um, and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Tier 1 tanks and, and how awesome they are really to play with um, in terms of vehicles now I know a lot of people will sort of go on about how the bigger heavy tanks are, are much more fun to play with like the KVs, the Tigers, the ISs um, all that kind of stuff but I just wanted to kind of just go back to basics really with World of Tanks and just kind of show you how much fun you can really have with um, a tier 1 tank now the the benefits of tier 1 tanks are is once you've got everything unlocked you can accumulate free XP now you can do that with with any tank essentially but the difference is with tier 1 tanks is that you can accumulate free XP very very quickly and before you know it you've got 10, 15, 20,000 free XP available for you to use on other tanks. Um, now I have the MS-1 tank as you can see here. It's the initial Russian tank that you start off with. And I mean, I have mine completely fully kitted out uh, with, with everything. So if we go in and have a look, we have everything unlocked in terms of uh, research points needed to unlock it. And we have everything um, basically we have the best equipment on that tank um, so I have the 40 mi uh, 45mm uh, gun um, the best tracks, the best engine, the best turret, the best radio system and once you have that completely kitted out it is a fantastic tank to play with um, so I'm just going to jump into a battle um, and have a little go. Now things might go well, they might go badly depending on, on the game type but I just want to show you basically how much fun you can have with tier 1 tanks and how much helpful um, they can be in helping you progress up the tier chain. Um, so we're going to start off with this battle. Um, unfortunately there's a couple of tier 2's in this battle um, <laughs> so we might run into a bit of problem especially if we run into the T-18's as you can see at the top there, they're the uh, American tank destroyers but um, I just want to just have a little play just kind of show you how cool these things can be um, and, and just kind of get you thinking you know about maybe if you haven't already just going back to tier 1 tanks and just you know playing with them and, and just having having fun with them because ultimately that's what this game is about it's about having fun and you know the more games you play with the tier 1 tanks the more free XP you can actually accumulate um, to help you progress up the tier ladders and get those tanks that you do want so I mean I have my tier 1 tank um, completely kitted out as I've said I mean I've got um, paint jobs on it and emblems and all that kind of stuff um, equipped for it so um, it's not the fastest um, tier 1 tank um, and it's not the most armoured tier 1 tank but it does have an extremely powerful gun the 45mm gun will pretty much go through everything it comes up against um, in terms of tier 1 and tier 2 battles now it has to be said that there are more faster firing guns available and I'm going to run straight into that T18 how am I not hurting this guy? there we go so we've destroyed that T18 um, okay we, we took a few hits but as you can see, we we pretty much damaged, um, pretty much damaged it and destroyed it, so we can move on. Um, but as I was saying, the the MS ones aren't the most heavily armored tanks. Um, so if you come up against like a T1 or or a Lek tractor that have those auto firing, fast firing guns, you will run into trouble. But for long range um, tanking, these things are exceptionally good. Um, it's best not to get too up close and personal um, with these tanks, especially in tier 1, like I said with the T1 and the LOL tractor, uh, I call it LOL tractor, but the LEC tractor having uh, those faster firing sort of auto loading guns. Um, 
but if you can kind of sit back and you know kind of take your time with it you can well, you can get some really nice kills oh what hit me in the rear <laughs> so I just got hit by an Aratsu um, which isn't good <laughs> so uh, yeah unfortunately we didn't do very well with that one um, but as you can see kind of the damage the stuff that you can do um, on on enemy tanks is is really good okay so I've jumped into another team into another tier one battle um, we won that last game by the way um, we managed to uh, annihilate everybody else on the opposite team um, and won by annihilation so um, I, I mean I, I just wanted to sort of carry on and, and just talk about um, the, these sort of tier one tanks um, this t this battle is actually nice and balanced because we're all tier ones so there's no tier twos or anything like that um, but as I was saying these tanks um, especially these MS ones are fantastic for sort of long to medium range engagements um, and providing that you don't get sort of outflanked or sort of um, outnumbered um, you can deal with pretty much every tier one tank um, that you come up with and like I said you can get come up against tier 2 tanks and as you saw when I took out the T-18 you can do damage to them um, tier 3s and upwards you, you are seriously really going to struggle and you probably won't survive for very long um, so on that note it's probably worth remembering the tanks limitations don't think that just because you have a really big gun that you can uh, you know take on everything because that's just not the case um, nine times out of ten if you have that attitude you will get destroyed quite quickly um, I'm probably not in the best situation here let's have a look at that lull tractor there we go. so like I say we're taking on the lull tractor um, and we oh, he's vanished but I don't know where he's gone um, as you can say we can do some pretty good damage medium to long range now close range again we can do damage but bear in mind that most of these T1 ta tier 1 tanks have um, these very fast firing kind of 50 cal um, weaponry that will really destroy you very very quickly um, I mean they fire like five six seven rounds um, and they do that in such quick succession that you haven't really got time to react and before you know it you're a smoldering pile of rust um, so you know just just sort of bearing in mind the tank's limitations and um, kind of play to the tank's strengths really um, I mean with these MS1s like I'm doing here it's best to just kind of sit somewhere um, with sort of adequate cover and just let the enemy come to you um, and this thing will engage you know pretty much everything um, within a sort of five six hundred meter uh, radius of yourself pretty pretty effectively um, obviously you need to compensate for moving tanks make sure that you obviously hit in front of the tank and um, Uh, happened to my ammo, shot. Come on, one more. Three, two, one. Oh, he took my kill. There we go. So we got that R up to. Unfortunately, we're taking quite heavy damage from this T1. Ow. And I get destroyed. So, like I said, as you saw there, um, the Lowell Tractor and that T1 with their fast firing guns can damage you pretty quickly so it's always best to make sure that you've got cover um, or you've got sort of teammates protecting your flanks and um, you know you don't get caught out by these sort of fast firing little tanks now I picked the MS1 purely because that it's got that very nice medium to long range engagements and I don't particularly like playing up close and personal in, in World of Tanks um, those of you who've watched my previous videos, I, I tend to shy away and stay on the flanks or kind of stay at the back and, and let the enemy come to me rather than go looking for them because I don't like getting caught out. Um, you know, so I don't like being outnumbered or outflanked and where I can't do any anything because I'm no good to my team that way. So I always try 
<laughs> I say try, it's not always possible with the maps, but I always try to either flank round either left or right, um, or kind of stay back and just provide sort of um, fire support for my guys that like to push forward. Now I, I like to play tanks that aren't um, sort of brawling tanks. Um, I like to play tanks like the Jackson, which is a tank destroyer, the Wolverine, which is again a tank destroyer, um, you know, the KV-1, although that's a heavy tank, it's not really meant for sort of just diving in and hoping for the best because more often than not you come you come up quite badly. So we'll just watch the end of this battle. It's, it doesn't look like it's going to be that long left. Um, I think our team have got numerical advantage, but as with most water tanks games, things can kind of turn quite quickly. But see how fast firing those guns are. Um, I'll just show you here. Uh, that's another MS1. Where's that T1 gone? Yeah, so this T1 has that really fast firing, um, I think it's a 50 cal um, gun, and it is stupidly fast um, and very, very accurate at close range. Um, you don't really have to aim properly for it to hit. Um, and on these kind of tier 1 tanks, these guns have an incredible amount of damage and penetration. Um, so it's always best to be aware of these if you come up against them. Now these guys' downfall is that they're not very good at long range. So these weapons are mainly used for kind of short to medium range engagements. Anything long range and these guns just don't have the, the range. But I mean just look, just look how quickly that was just eaten up. It's absolutely insane. Um, but that's its downfall. Um, this is a Chinese uh, Renault NC31. Um, a very, very good tank. Very, very well armoured. Um, slightly more so than the MS1. Um, pretty good gun on it, to be fair. Uh, I mean, nothing spectacular over the top. I mean, these are tier 1 tanks. But, um, you know, definitely a tank that, um, you know, you can have a look at. Um, if you want to come back to tier 1s and just sort of have a see. I mean, you can't really do any worse than it. The MS1s, is, you know, I've been playing with MS1s now for a long time. There's a low tractor in that bush, although you can't really see it very well because it's camouflaged. Um, but again, the low tractor becomes equipped with these fast firing guns. Um, and they're quite well armoured um, for tier 1 tanks. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got any of the big tanks to show you, which is the medium ones, which is a British tank, because um, they've all been destroyed on our team. But um, those are very, very slow tanks, very well armoured, um, and we've won the game. But um, definitely have a look at tier one tanks if you've not, if you've only just played with them to get out of them. Um, you know, have a look at what's on offer. Um, definitely consider, you know, um, a, a T1, um, a Lull Tractor, or an MS1. I think those three are probably the most commonly used tier one tanks. Um, but just, just have a play, just see how you get on, and um, let me know what you think. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, I should be doing more videos like these on all my tanks, so stay tuned for that. But um, for me, Don Monty, um, take care. See you soon, and uh, bye for now.